Hi guys, Ryu here with another bit for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be talking about extrusions. So extrusions are done in Blender in edit mode. So we need to switch from solid to edit, which means we need to press tab and press three for face or simply click on the face here with machine tools because I'm using machine tools add-on for this. And then click on the face and press E and you can extrude it. Now this extrusion is going to extrude a shape out of this face and it will, you know, kind of leave this edge behind, which is a loop going across the shape. So it simply builds on top of the shape. There's another way of extruding called extrusion manifold, which was added in Blender 2.9. You press Alt E and click on extrude manifold. You can see I'm extruding, but the edge is not being created. So this is kind of like pressing G and Y in this case and kind of moving the face. However, this is really useful in different situations. So for example, if I select everything with A, right click and subdivide it, press Shift R to repeat that. And I select, you know, let's say at this face, Control select this one and then select these. And I wanted to extrude them inwards. If I press E, you can see I'm going to have a problem because uh, I got these double faces created in here on the sides and you can see z fighting is just a bloody mess okay you don't want that all right what you want is you want to press alt e and click on manifold extrude which will extrude um, in this fashion uh, so these faces gonna get removed this is a really cool way of extruding another way of extruding will be extruding along normals what does it mean well each face is basically facing certain direction like this one is facing on the z-axis this one is facing to the right on the x-axis so if i click these two faces and press e you can see that the average extrusion is going to be created so a uh, blender is going to basically average the uh, normals uh, one is pointing up and one is pointing left and it's going to basically extrude it you know kind of like on a 45 degrees angle now the way around it will be to uh, extruded along normal so you press alt e and you simply click on um, extrude faces along normals and you're gonna get this the problem with this one is that you can see still that you get a, a little bit of an issue with uh, with kind of like an averaging so it's not really completely you know completely straight which is a bit of a problem you could go with extrude individual faces uh, which is kind of cool and uh, this is a bit more visible when I'm gonna you know extrude more of them you will see there's gonna be a clear division in between them so alt e and extrude into your faces right and I can see that if I'm going to add a bevel you can see that the uh, these blocks are actually separate blocks so you know these are separate blocks of geo but they connect to the main shape all right so that's that um, but you could use tools like for example hard ups for extrusion and there's a great tool over the over there called em macro so q and alt click on em macro and this will extrude the shape uh, in a really nice fashion without any distortions another way of extruding with blender would be to press e okay then right mouse button to cancel alt s and this is basically extruding along normals so it's kind of like the same as i showed you before but again you know distortion so bear that in mind another way of extruding would be to simply um, panel something out so you could shift d right then p selection go to solid mode select this one q uh, a modifier and solidify so you can extruding but you know it's a separate geo with uh, hard ups and box edit this is uh, you know a child's play because all you do is select the faces and uh, that you want to extrude and you press uh, Q and shift click on curve extract and you're done, right? Another way of extruding things would be by creating um, curves out of edges. So let me just control B this and, you know, create a bevel here. Select this edge with control and then I'm going to go to uh, curve extract and simply click on it with hard ops. Press S to smooth it, 1 to subdivide it and you got a cable or pipe or whatever you want. So these would be my go-to methods of extruding stuff in Blender. Hope it helps you out, guys. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.